What's up guys and welcome back to another Revit Tools video. In this video we'll be talking about the offset tool. It's a really basic tool. It does exactly what it says. It's an offset. So we'll click on the offset tool and up here at the top we're greeted by a graphical and a numerical option. By default you'll see the numerical option checked as well as an offset of one foot and the ability to copy. So when we have this copy checked, what, what do we think will happen? Well, the wall or whatever it might be that we're offsetting is going to copy. And we'll be left with the first object that we were using to offset along with the offset version, therefore a copy. We have the option to check that or not. So with this unchecked, inevitably what's happening is what's being offset is being moved that offset amount. So let's let's get into some examples here. We can see some of this in action. So let's use, we'll keep this at one foot for now, but I've got a, just a basic wall with a door and a window and I'll turn this copy on and you can see as I hover over this wall, the result of the offset is that dotted line there. And if I change this offset to two feet, we can see that that line is now two feet apart. We'll keep that at two feet for now, and let's see what happens when I offset the wall like this. I get a copy because I have the copy checked, and because the door and the window are hosted to the wall that we offset, they're going to be, in this case, copied with it. So I'll delete that, and let's go back to the offset tool. And if we uncheck copy, we'll still see the same dotted line result, but whenever I do offset it, it will offset it, but not copy the wall. So now let's look at the option for graphical. And I'll be honest, I have almost never used this graphical option when it comes to offsetting. Maybe I should use it a little more, but generally I know the value I want to offset specifically, so I just input it input that value as a numerical value and then do my offset and move on. So whenever we use this graphical option, we don't have the option to specify a specific value. I'll leave the copy off. And right now as I highlight over this wall, we don't have any of those, those offset guides or basically a result of what our offset would be. So I'll first click this and now we're, we're prompted to cl click to enter offset start point. So maybe there's a specific value that you need to offset and it's somewhere else in the model. Maybe it's way over here or way over here. It doesn't matter. You can start from any point to determine a value. But in this case, let's start from the edge of the wall. Maybe I do want to use that two feet again. So just like uh, the move tool or anything like that, as I start to move this value or move the mouse farther away from that start value, I'll see the dimension is increased. And just like any other option, like the, the move or copy tool, I can now input a specific value. And so let's put in our two feet there. I'll type in two, hit enter, and then we can see that the wall, along with the door and window in this case, was offset two feet. So let's, let's do this a couple more times to see what happens. I'll click on the wall. I'll select the start point. Maybe I want this start point to be out here. And now I have the option to start from that point that I chose and pick two feet or whatever it might be. In this case, I will do two feet. And if we can see it goes back two feet, just like we did before. It doesn't matter where the start point is. It's using what you selected and then a start point. Maybe you have a reference point from this beam to this column, and that happens to be six, one and three quarters. That can be your result. That can be your offset. You can copy it just like we did before just like that, it, it works pretty seamlessly. So for the rest of the tutorial, I am gonna go back to the numeric just so it's a clean value. We all are a little more familiar with that and it's more general. So just like, uh, just like the wall, I can offset this beam and I can copy, use it, at, I can check the copy to receive a copy and I can do this as many times as I want, although there are certain things that cannot be offset and that is mainly components. So 
let's go to this desk. And because this is a component, I don't have the option to offset this in any way. The same as the column, I don't have an option to offset that, which is too bad, unfortunately. So this curtain wall, just like the wall, pieces of this curtain wall, as well as the entire curtain wall itself, can be offset. By default, I can see that the curtain wall itself there highlighted in the center of the wall can be offset with the result of that dotted line. And I, you can see right there that it is offset and easy and able to be offset. J just like the wall, a beam, anything like that with that's line-based, a basic detail line is the same and, and works just the same. You can copy your offset or anything like that. And in a way, use that to move lines back and forth. Reference planes, unfortunately, do not work, even though it seems like they should. I am not quite sure why they don't. Lines that are curved even work, which is great. A lot of times you'll be working with curves and you'll need to be able to offset this curve a specific dimension. Although I will note, if once you get to a specific point in a curve, you'll notice that I see I highlight over this curve and with my offset of two feet I get can't create line when I hover over it and that's because it's trying to offset the curve in two feet which would therefore break the curve if you begin to think about the curve converging in on itself although whenever I hover towards the other edge I am prompted with the option of offsetting that curve two feet in the other direction which in this case does work Same works with curved walls. It's, it's basically the exact same. I'm, I get to a point where it cannot create the line, or in this case, a wall, which is, it makes sense. You're going to come across that a lot of times. And this is perhaps my favorite and most used ability of the offset tool, for me personally anyway. So let's, let's put this at three feet and as I highlight over, these are just basic lines, and as I highlight over these lines, you could see I have the option to highlight, or I could, I see the result with the dotted line. Although something special about uh, a chain of lines like this is that if I were to just select this line, I, I have one line, but if I hover over one of these lines and I press tab, anything that's connected to that line or wall or anything like that is considered a part of a chain. And if you tab and tab, you have the option to select everything at once, which is really nice. Now we can actually apply this directly to the offset tool, which is what I like particularly about chain lines or walls. So at highlighting this first line, I can see I just have one basic option of offsetting this line one direction or the other. We'll change this to two feet. Let's make it one foot actually. There we can see that. And because I have this highlighted and I know this is a chain of lines, I can tab and select every single line that's a part of this chain. And then I'm prompted with the option of offsetting that in either direction in or out, which is completely and super helpful when it comes to having to do lots of offsets, especially if they're the same dimension. And that applies also to walls. I'm gonna change this to two feet so we can see this just one wall highlight, I could see either direction of the wall. The result would be one side or the other. I'll undo that, but whenever I highlight this wall and I press tab, I immediately see that every wall will be offset out two feet, which is great. Same thing works if you're trying to move walls or offset them in. They'll eventually break like that once you get in too tight. At this point, we've been only looking at the offset tool and plan. Now let's look at it in elevation. I'll go to this south elevation here and use the offset tool. And I'll just highlight around and see what we can impact. We can use, of course, the wall to offset from. Of course, this desk, this component does not work. The column still does not work. Change this to fine so we can see the column and beams. Just like before, the beams did work, although I will point out, when you highlight over the beams at this point, because they're hosted 
to the level one and the offset is in either direction based on level one we cannot see the result basically the highlighted line that dotted line that we would see as a preview but we can see that they are able to be offset so I'll just click this beam and the result is that we do get it offset two feet although it like I said before we cannot see those guidelines those offset guidelines as to where the beam would be offset in, in this case is more of a guess so a lot of times I end up just using the offset tool and plan for this very reason when I highlight this curtain wall the entire curtain wall highlights and just like before this would in a way offset this curtain wall two feet either towards us or away from us because we're in an elevation view now unfortunately it would be nice to be able to tab all the way to the grid line and offset these grid lines but that unfortunately is not an option I'm just able to offset this entire curtain wall as a wall same with reference lines they do not work which is too bad these are my chains of, chains of walls and just like before I can tab and select multiple chains of walls and lines not so much useful when it comes to being in an elevation but it the offset tool works just the same I probably use the offset tool the most in 3d after a floor plan but just like I showed you in floor plan views everything works the same in 3d which is very nice I'm actually able to see those guides those dotted lines where that wall will end up after I offset it same with the beams in this case which is very helpful you can see either side there curtain walls can be offset move just like that same with same with walls and same with chains of walls all in all that's the basics of the offset tool I really hope you learned something today if you did, please leave me a like. That does tell me that you enjoyed the video and hopefully learned something. You're welcome to comment. I will always reply to your comments and questions that you might have. Feel free to subscribe. Please do because we'll always have more Revit tutorials, Revit tools videos, and more. I hope you all have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.